The Deputy Prime Minister, Senator Paul Lamini, says over the years, education for the deaf used to go up to grade 7, and His Majesty's government recognized the need to establish a high school for the deaf, which is of paramount importance in ensuring that pupils with special needs are given equal opportunities. The Deputy Prime Minister was speaking at Matsetsa High School for the Deaf today. We have a report. On arrival, the Deputy Prime Minister, Senator Paul Lamini, presented gifts to the children that, that were donated by Professor Kim from Korea, and these gifts will help the children in hygienic purposes. In his speech, the Deputy Prime Minister said the government in partnership with civil society and UN agencies has been honoring the Day of the Girl Child in recognition of the importance of the girl children in the wider development prospects of the country. Today I want to talk to both boys and girls here to encourage them to take good care of themselves since they have now reached one of the most critical stages of adolescenthood, which relates to identity versus role confusion stage. Adolescents must integrate various roles into a consistent identity. If they fail to do so, they may experience problems over who they are. It is the role of parents and teachers to support the pupils to achieve this stage successfully without reverting to joining bad social groups, but they should be empowered in such a way that they make informed decisions to join good social groups that will make them become productive individuals and be able to contribute effectively to the country's development in the future. The Minister of Education, Dr. Phineas Makakula, said the government has been able to enroll over 97.5% children at primary level. So we are rather concerned about the 2.5%. Where is this 2.5%? So we are moving towards finding out exactly where they are. Because his, his Majesty's government is very clear about education. We are saying every child must be within the walls of the classroom. The students at the School for the Deaf showcased their dancing of Sipaka in Lamu and Gambu dancing. The Deputy Prime Minister was also excited that the school here in Mateta also provides both academic and vocational studies for the children, just like any other school. Mbongwa Ngumalo with Shongwe for Sazo TV News, Mateta.